Greetings from Mars. Where now there is water. We're so excited there's water because now we can show you how to round to the nearest tenth. Really anything. This is Ms. Berenbaum and, and Miss Brennan. So I have one and thirty-seven hundredths. And I want to decompose that number as many ways as possible. So first I'll write it with one one, three tenths, and seven hundredths. But I know that if you're rounding to the nearest tenth, maybe having ones, do you think that would be the best idea, Miss Barenbaum? No, I want to have zero ones and convert those ones into tenths. Hmm. All right, so we're going to put zero in the ones place. Okay. I know that one one is ten tenths plus the three tenths I already have for a total of thirteen tenths. And there's still seven hundredths. Now just in case, let me decompose it one more time. If I had zero ones, I know that thirteen tenths is a hundred thirty hundredths plus the seven I already have, 137 hundredths. And don't forget that zero in the tenths place because you don't have any tenths anymore. Hmm, so which decomposition will work best for me if I'm rounding to the tenths? The one that has tenths. Ding, 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 ding. Awesome. All right, so I'm looking at that decomposition and I see that it's 13 tenths and a little more. So See that I, little more right there? I know my endpoints, my minimum value is 13 tenths. And one more tenth, my maximum value is 14 tenths. Hmm. What's halfway in between 13 tenths and 14 tenths? Well, I know half of one-tenth is five hundredths. So halfway in between must be thirteen tenths and five hundredths. That was tough to spell. Ms. Brennan, is that the same as 13.5 tenths? Hmm, 13.5 tenths. It sounds like it would be the same as 13.5 tenths. Can we write that out in standard form, Miss Barenbaum? Sure. I'm going to put it underneath. Hmm, 13 point, thir wait, 13.5 tenths. It's not the same as 1 and 35 hundredths. It sure is. Awesome. Okay, so now we get to compare our original number, 1 and 37 hundredths. Is that greater than the halfway point, or is it less than the halfway point? Hmm. What are we actually comparing, Ms. Brennan? Hmm, I think we're comparing, well, we need to figure out tenths, right? Mm -hmm. We want to see if it's a tenth that is greater than... 1 and 37 tenths or less than 1 and 37? Whoop! Hundredths! Oh boy. Miss Brennan's having a long day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I think we're on track. 13 tenths and 5 hundredths, and I'm comparing that to 13 tenths and 7 hundredths. I know that 7 hundredths is more than 5 hundredths. So, I don't know exactly where, but 13 tenths and 7 hundredths will be somewhere around there. I always say ish. Yes. Should we put it as hundredths or tenths, Miss Barenbaum? Let's put it as 13 tenths and 7 hundredths. All right. Oops. Wow. And then it's very easy for us to see. It falls in the upper half. So 1 and 37 hundredths rounded to the nearest tenth is 14 tenths. And if we wanted to write that out, 14 tenths, I always like to kind of bring it back. 14 tenths, we know that 10 tenths is equal to one whole, so I'm going to write that as one whole and four 
left over tenths. So I'm going to see that as one and four tenths. That was a lot of steps, but together we were able to do it. Nice job. Way we'll to see go. you next time.